Hey, thanks everyone. So Christmas is over, uh, but I still got a couple of thoughts about it. Um, first of all, it's it's Deck the Hall. It's not Deck the Hall. For years now, I've, it's been my mission to explain to people that it's Deck the Hall, just one hall. Lots of bows, but only one hall. Unless you're like entreating to a municipal agency or or writing to the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, one hall is plenty enough. Um, my previous mission was uniting the two Koreas. And I found that <laughs> less difficult than persuading people to sing Deck the Hall. <laughs> the other thing is, I do have a score to settle with Rudolph. Uh, you know, the red-nosed reindeer? Yeah, yeah, he had a very shiny nose and all the other reindeer came to love him because Santa was able to put his shiny nose to very good use. Yeah, very good use. One Christmas, one friggin' foggy Christmas, he was put to good use. An eternity of Christmases before, an eternity of Christmas after, it was clear sailing, clear skies, clear flying. To me, that was worth all of 15 minutes of fame, which everyone's entitled to. But no, Rudolph milked it. Boy, did he milk it. We've got to listen to that stupid song incessantly. And we're all supposed to love Rudolph. Sure, kids seem to love Rudolph. He is cute too, with his shiny nose. And But I'm done with it, and I'm done with him. And most of all, I'm done with that stupid song. Uh, speaking of songs, uh, if I ever do run into Rudolph, I'm going to punch him in the nose just to watch it glow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I hope uh, I hope I, don't, I haven't offended anybody. <laughs> but that's, but really, that's the least of it. Then there's all the ancillary Rudolph stuff. But it's even worse. Uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> Funny. It's not politically correct. It's not woke. It's not woke AF. And the way the lyrics hint, did you ever notice that the lyrics hint that grandpa might have been complicit? <laughs> or at least, at, the, at best, grateful. But that dumb song would never have existed but for Rudolph. And again, no one ever questions how he got his red shiny nose in the first place. Adults don't question, kids don't question. Ain't that peculiar? I find Rudolph so insufferable. Um, but that's really the trouble uh, with kids. Um, I'm, I'm working out this routine and it's got some kinks in it. Um, well, that's the trouble with kids. And I don't mean today, I mean through eternity. Kids are too accepting. They don't even, they don't question anything. They never ask questions. Uh, um, it's always why, why, why? But in reality, they just very accepting. I mean, take Cap'n Crunch when, when you were a kid. Cap'n friggin' Crunch. How <laughs> incarnation did he ever make it to Cap'n? <laughs> then there's Casper, Casper the friendly ghost. So let me see if I've got this straight. There's a ghost, his name is Casper. That's a stretch right there if you ask me. Who gets named Casper? But he's a Casper Weinberger, but he's a friendly ghost. He doesn't want to scare people, much less hurt anyone. But he's a kid, maybe eight or ten, but he's a ghost. And no one questions this premise. How do you get to be a ghost? at such a young age in the first place. He seems so well behaved, wouldn't hurt a fly. How'd he get in so much trouble? But his name was Casper, so maybe he died of embarrassment. <laughs> but you don't question this, and uh, all of a sudden he's a ghost. Uh, I think we'd all do better to question everything instead of accepting everything we're told. Um, take me, I never questioned anything my parents told me. And I never even questioned what my, pa what my friends would tell me. My friends used to tell me I was smarter than the average bear, and I'd be like all flattered. But looking back, that's not a very high bar. <laughs> My parents, too, they raised me thinking I was all kinds of special, and I bought into that hook, line, and sinker. That's my fault. But they shouldn't have done that. They should have known better. I mean, way back in kindergarten, when I brought home my first report card, next to works well and plays well with others, I got an incomplete. <laughs> and, and I, sh I should have known better uh, after school I'd run right home in time to watch the Three Stooges on TV and the crazy thing was my mom encouraged me to do that <laughs> Dave, Dave Matters don't do your homework 
it's time to watch the Three Stooges. <laughs> and it's only years later I found out. She thought I was watching the Three Studios. <laughs> okay, I, I paused too long for a laugh. I think that's hilarious. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I work clean. I don't work blue. I don't believe that sprinkling dirty adjectives like um, dag nab at this, dog on at that, duck and sock puffer, that just doesn't make things funny. And too many comics um, do that. And it's just, I leave that to journeymen like Richard Pryor. <laughs> Comic, comics coming up today should learn this. So you won't be hearing me use dirty words. Uh, so I'm back at the gym uh, and I don't see the camera. I do see the camera. Okay, I do see the light. Okay, great. I see the light. Um, so, <laughs> um, so anyway, one, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, so I'm back at the gym, but I'm easing into it. Right now, my idea of resistance training is telling my personal trainer, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yay! Bye. Bye.